Tav Kuf Ches Amit Beis, the Gemara, in the beginning of the Gemara, three lines from the top. The Tanakhama said, "Ain't Oisim Hilmi B'Shamis," but you can make me Melach. The Tevel Ben Peter in Oisim L'Seicha Tavshil. So my Kamara, what is the Tanakhama saying? What is Hilmi and what is me Melach? My Kamara, Rabbi Huda, I'm a small Hachi Kamara. Ain't Oisim Me Melach Merubin, Avol Oisim Who Me Melach Muatim. Hilmi is also a salt water mixture. It's also a salt water solution. But what he means to say is you can't make large quantities, but you can do small quantities. If you do large quantities, so it looks like he's doing it to preserve foods for the next day. And he looks like he's preparing for after Shabbos, so it's awesome. But if he does it in small quantities, it has the appearance of that he's using it for a dip for the food that he needs on Shabbos, for his suit for Shabbos, and therefore it's mutter. That's what the Tanakam holds. Now, the Mishnah said, the Rav Yaisi said, Valayu Hilmi Bein Maruba Bein Muat. There's no difference if it's a large quantity or a small quantity. There's no difference. What is Mei Melech that's Mutter? Rav Yaisi said, that is if you don't mix the water and the salt directly. It's the salt with the oil and then the water, or you mix it that way, or you mix the uh, uh, the, the salt with the oil and then the water, the, the salt uh, and the water with the oil, rather, and then the salt, but you don't mix the salt and the water directly. What does Ramayasi mean to say? Ramayasi said there's no difference between large quantities and small quantities. Does that mean to say that in both cases they're oser? Or is he saying in both cases that they're motor? What does Ramayasi mean? He means to say that in both cases it's mutter. We don't like Tani Rav Yaisi Oyser. Because since the Tana Kama says that Helmi is os, Me Melach is mutter, then Rav Yaisi, if he meant the answer, should have simply said, You're saying Me Melach is mutter, Rav Yaisi Oyser, that it's also. So therefore, Rav Yaisi, by saying there's no difference between the two, therefore he means to say that they're both mutter. No, but the Sefer says, these are the main melech which are mutter. It's mashma dafke these. Michlal, the Raviyasi lesser. Doesn't that imply the Raviyasi? What he meant to say is to answer. Okay, it's a very stark at Taina. How would we, according to Ravi Yehud, Ravi Yehud, how would he answer that Taina? Marshall explains that he holds absolutely very in common. According to me, Rav Yaisi holds both mutter, because it doesn't should simply say Rav Yaisi Yaisi. But even according to you, that you say Hilmi is also, even according to you that you're saying that Hilmi is also, then you should say, nevertheless, that the it should be mutter in this case. In the case, it should be mutter if you mix, if you don't mix the uh, water and the uh, salt directly. Elama Rabba as So therefore, however, because of this taina, nevertheless, Rabba says it's also v'chinam Rav Yoichanan le'aser. They both hold that Rav Yaisi is coming to aser, and he answers both in Mei Melech Merubim or Muatim, but whether it's Hilmi Mei Melech, that it is aser. Tani nami hachi ein oisim Mei Melech Merubim la seisel seichay k'vashin sheba seichay gisra. You don't make a large quantity of water, salt water to uh, to put to uh, salt the vegetables that are being pickled and uh, that are in a gisar gisar is a, bo- a broken piece of a keli the what they used to do with the broken kalim they didn't throw them away they used to use them to pickle uh your rockers, to pickle vegetables so you can't make a large quantity to use it as a dip for these vegetables, but you could do it and make a small quantity, and you can make a small quantity and dip your bread into it, use it as a dip, or put it into your top shell and put it into your you know, the uh, cooked foods that you have, or a salad dressing that you could do. That's clear the sheet of the Tanakhama. Amr of Yaisi, but Rav Yaisi argues and he says, just because this is a large quantity and this is a small quantity, this should be awesome, this should be mutter, what's the difference to make in the quantity? 
Yom Ramalacha Meruba Asur Malacha Amuetas Mbutara, should we say that a a malacha that's done in a large uh, measure should be also, but if in a small measure it should be mutter, that can't be. They're both also. But what is the case where may malacha is mutter? You can put, as long as you don't put the water and the salt directly together, then you can make the mixture. So as it's uh, clear from the Rishenim that Rav Yesi's time is, there's no difference between large and small quantities. Actually, he has a different underlying reason for the Yisr. Now, as we said before in the Tanakam, the Yisr is, if it's a large quantity, it's like you're going to use it to preserve the food for the next day, like you're preparing for the next days. But small quantities, even mutter. Rav Yesi, who does not differentiate between small and large quantities, but here there's a different underlying reason. And the reason is, as uh, the Rishonim explained, because according to Yesi, it looks like you're you're doing it, you're mem'abed, just like when you tan the skins. You preserve it, you make it hard, and so that it will last, and, and that you work the skins, you tan it. Here also, by salting, in a salting the, the food, whether it's a large or small quantity, the quantity is not the issue. If it's a high concentration of salt, then it looks like you're being ma'abed, you're preserving, you're making a preservative, which is similar to be ma'abed that you're doing by tanning the skins. So therefore, it doesn't matter the quantity, but it doesn't uh, make a difference in the consistency. If it's water and salt directly together, then it has the appearance of being ma'abed, but not if the salt is mixed with another ingredient first. You don't make salt water with a strong, strong salt water with a, a strong percentage of salt. It's a large percent, uh, percentage rather of salt. My what is meimelchazin? What is a, a the consistency of it where it, we consider it to be strong? Rabba Rav Yitzchak Bar Avad Hamri Tarvayu. They both say Kol Shabaya Tzafa Ben. If an egg would float in it, if it has that much salt in it that they would float, then it's also a kama amrabai. It tried till some milcha. If it has two thirds salt, vitil samaya, and one third of water. Lamai Abdullah, what is this strong salt water made for? Amrabavo, Lamaraisa, for fish brine. They used to make it and have very strong salt water. Tanu Rabbi Yehuda Bar Chaviva, a mochid snoin of Beba Shabbos. You don't salt radishes or an egg on Shabbos. Rav Chizkin Shmei Dubai Amr Tznoin Asr, he says, radishes also Rubeya Muteras, but the Beya is Muter. Meaning since the salt, since it's beneficial for it, so again, it looks like you are being Ma'abedit. So if you salt it, now we're not talking, as it's clear from Rashi and the other Rishon, we're not talking by salting one piece of a radish at a time and eating it. We're talking about salting a two or more pieces at the same time. And when you salt it, then for the radish, it looks like you're being ma'abedit. For the egg, it doesn't look like you're being ma'abedit. It doesn't look, have that kind of a beneficial um, effect on it to preserve it in that way. It may have a good, uh, have a beneficial effect for the taste of it, and people salt it for the taste, but not in terms of preserving it. An egg is mutter, but the radish is also. Amr of Nachman Reish have a Malcha Pugla. At the beginning, initially, he used to salt the radishes. I mean, how should he come up? I thought, I'm really ruining it, and therefore it would be mutter. It doesn't look like preserving it. The Amr of Shmuel Pugla, Churfimale, that the sharp taste is good. Now, when salted, that removes some of the sharpness. It's salty, but it removes some of the sharpness of the radish. So, so he said, therefore, since Pugla Churf is Mali, it's considered beneficial, and by salting it, you're diminishing that sharpness. I thought that I'm actually uh, ruining it in a certain way. And therefore, it's not can be considered Ma'abed. That they used to salt piles of the radishes, obviously, they deemed it to be beneficial. I would not salt it. But but I would dip it, meaning dip it or salt it one at a time. So that's considered, that's derech that's not being ma'abed. Then he would dip it 
Now, salted one at a time, but not in quantities. Tan Rabbi Yehuda Bar Chaviva Esra, it's noinu beya, by an Esra or a radish or an egg, you'll molecule pulse on a chitzain, if not for the outer uh, peel on it, the outer uh, the outer membrane, eno yaitzem nemayim lo'aylam, we would never leave the stomach. Ki also Rav Dimi, Amar Ma'aylam, like Tava Gabra, be Amar Estoim. He said a person never drowned in the waters in Estoim, in May Estoim. He never drowned in the water because of the thick uh, uh, concentration, the heavy concentration of salt. Then a person always floated. He didn't. Uh, uh, he didn't drown in in the waters of Stein. Amar Rav Yosef Hafucha Stein Vapuchim Mila. Stein is was turned upside down. The was the uh, the punishment of the Bnei Stein after Light and his wife is, uh, w- escaped was it was turned over. The words that you're saying regarding Stein is turned over. You mean to say a person didn't drown, which implies but a beam, a log, would drown, would sink in, in that water? Then obviously not. So what you're saying is, is, is seems to imply something which is uh, the opposite of the truth. What he means is, let me boy comment. Certainly that a log didn't sink over there, but loimi boy, not only. Loimi boy, sure the pillow of home means your bottom light tava. Not only a log which doesn't sink in any waters. But even a person who would drown sink in other bodies of water, beyama the stein, light tava, but not in the yama, the waters of stein, because of the thick concentration of the salt. Why is this relevant? He was walking behind Rav Yirmiya on the banks of the waters of Stein. So, uh, can you wash with the waters of the Yama Melach? Can you wash with these waters of the Yama Melach and Shabbos? He says, it's, it's fine, you could. Can you put it over the eye and open and close your eye? Is that mutter? Does that have the appearance of washing? Or perhaps by opening and closing the eye, it has the appearance of a refua. And medicine, refua is also in Shabbos. So by doing that, does that give the appearance of appearance of refua? And perhaps it's also. Omer Lezulay Shamati said, I didn't hear it specifically in this case, but Kiyetzabah Shamati, so I heard something similar. He said over this memra, sometimes the name of Masa and they both said it in the name of Abu the Shmuel, the Levi and Levi. So there was two members. One was said in the name of Abu the Shmuel and one in the name of Levi. So Amrin Khad, so Vitavai Mishmeda Abu Shmuel the Levi Am. Khad Amar Yain Basai and also one said that wine inside the eye to apply it into the eye is also that looks like medicine. Al-Gabe ayin motor to put it on the top of the eye, on the eyelid is motor. Bechad Amar, and one said a different member, Reich Tafel, the saliva, when a person wakes up in the morning, if he didn't drink, eat or drink anything, or wash out his mouth, the Reich Tafel, that's called Reich Tafel, Afilu Al-Gabe ayin also, even on top of the eye is also, because that's clear that he's using it for refuah. So yain b'seich ayin is also on the eyelid is mutter, so that shows that it's not uh, on top of that. It could be using for washing. It's not clearly um, identified as a refuah. In the eye, it is, but right tafel even on the eyelid, it's person will only use it for refuah. So therefore, it's also. So it's something similar. Something similar. You're asking me by the yama melach whether. On top on the eyelid is motor, whether in the eye is also, it's similar to this case of the eye, and which would be also. So the Mora says, he said two memories, one was the name of Abu Shmuel, and one the name of Levi, Tistayim da Abu Shmuel, who Damra Yain Vesayach Ayin also. It's Mistabra to say that Abu Shmuel was the one, he said this memory that Yain Vesayach Ayin also, Al Gabba Ayin Mutter. Midamra Shmuel, Shera Adam Pitre Bi Ayin. Shmuel, the son of Abu the Shmuel, he said that you can put, you dip your bread in the wine, the nice like the wine with Shabbos, and put it on your eyelid. So who did Shmuel hear this member from? 
So this is wine on the eyelid, which is mutter. Who did he hear this from? Lav deshmir mavu. Did he not hear it from his father? So it's Masabra to say that that memra by the wine is avu deshmul. But Shmuel also said, Roik, Tafel, that the Roik Afilo Gabayai Nasser, he also said the Memra of the Roik Tafel, which is also the Shamil Emiman. Who did he hear it from? He lame the Shamil Emavu. If you're going to say here also, it's Mustabri, he heard it from his father. El Levi Veloichad Omar. So that means the Levi didn't say anything. Ella Kharashmiya Lame Avua must be the Shmuel heard these two memras. One he heard from his father, Khashmir Lame Levi, Vilo Yadina, Haima Avua, Vahima Levi. And we don't know which one he heard from his father, which from from Levi. Amra Maru from Ashmuel Sheradam Kilaran Mayor of Shabez. A person can make this solution. They used to have this solution that they put for an eye ailment called Kilaran, which was a mixture of of wine and water and other ingredients. He can make this solution Arab Shabbos. He prepares it and mixes it Arab Shabbos. And he can put it on the eyelid on Shabbos and he doesn't have to be concerned. Since he's making the solution Arab Shabbos, so people, the person making it will not come to think that a Rafu is mutter on Shabbos because he's mutter to grind and make medicine on Shabbos because he specifically can only prepare an Arab Shabbos. And putting it on his eye, people won't think that a medicine is mutter because they'll think that he's washing with it. So even though he may intend for to have some uh, medicinal benefits from this, but since he himself can only prepare an Arab Shabbos and he can only put it on the eyelid, there is no indication that for onlookers that medicine is mutter on Shabbos, and he himself knows that he has to prepare it before Shabbos, then he'll know that you cannot prepare medicine on Shabbos. Barley boy have a koi come to the Maruk, he was in front of Maruk Khazi to have a mites apostle. He saw that he was opening and closing his eyes. Omar like Kula Hai Barla Sharma Shmuel, even though he permitted it on the eyelid, but to then open and close the eye and have the solution enter into the eye, that he certainly would not have permitted because that is clear that he's doing it for the purpose of refua, which is also. Rav Yanni sent to Mark and sent some of the solution of the Kilar of Marshmallow because it has such a, a very, uh, very good a medicinal benefits. Salach le shidur mishadalach. He said, "I'll certainly send it to you." Delay tema tsar einana. That you shouldn't think I'm stingy. I'll certainly send it to you. Avahach yamar Shmuel, but it's not necessary because Shmuel said toiva tipas tainin shachris. For the eye, it's better a little bit, a small measure of cold water to wash in the morning. And washing your hands and feet in warm water. And evening, we call Kilur and Shabbat. It's better than all of this Kilur, better than all of this eye solution. So I'm sending it to you, but you should know that really it's these other, uh, the Tipa Sainin and the Rechitzas Chamin in the evening is more beneficial than that. Tanya no me hachi ama rav ama rabbi muna mishum rabbi huda tayva tipa tzayin and shach zurachit say the daim raglaim a harvest me called kilur and shabaylan. Who I am? He said, and additionally, talking about things that are beneficial or medicinal uh, benefits or being careful about not harming yourself. Who I am? Yad la ayin tixus. Person, if he puts his hand to his eye, it's harmful. It should. Literally meaning being cut off, meaning you should refrain from putting his hand to his eye. Yad l'chaitim, or to his nose, ticks us. Yad l'peh, to the mouth, ticks us. Yad l'aizen, to the ear, ticks us. Yad l'chasuda, ticks us. A wound when they did the bloodletting, so there was a wound from the bloodletting. It's harmful to put your hand on that that punctured area. Yad l'ama, ticks us, or to the aver, should be ticks us. Yad l'pitavas, to the anus, ticks us. Yad l'gigis, putting it into a barrel of beer, ticks us. Yad Mesama. So why do we say that it's so harmful to put it on the eye and the ear? And because Yad Mesama it'll blind. Yad Machreshes. And it can also cause a person to be deaf. And Yad is also that Yad is Mala Polypus. 
If he puts a hand to his mouth or to his nose, it's mala polypus, which is a very bad odor. So therefore, you should refrain from doing these types of things.